This is so glad to join us. This is Alan Alford from the Alan and Aris What's Up Radio Show. So yeah, we'll start right there, you know, with a camp pretty much winding down. What are your thoughts about the Orlando Guardians and your chances with uh, starting in this first game? I mean, you know, you know, it's a team game. I mean, we can't just do have one player, you know, say something for the whole team. But, you know, as a team, we ready. You know, we got some ballers. We ready to go. You know, a lot of guys ain't played ball in a minute or just got done playing ball. But, you know, we got some we got some ball players for sure. Yeah, I mean, definitely you got a loaded team and and talk about yourself, Charleston, about the opportunity to play for the XFL when you first got, you know, the opportunity to start with the XFL. What was your mindset at that point? You know, I was just amazed. You know, I, I thank God, first of all, and I put it all in his hands. You know, I'm here now, but, you know, it's time to make some noise. And I'm just overly appreciative to Coach Buck, Coach Thomas, Coach Ford, you know, all the guys that got me here and I talked with, you know, I just incredible, you know, so, I mean, I'm just blessed to be in this position. Yeah. I mean, definitely it's, it's a great opportunity for you. It's a big game coming up and talk about coach Buckley. What have you learned so far from the coach that has really helped your game out as a wide receiver? You know, just having a star player as a coach, you know, I know coach Buck was a star back in his day, you know, just hearing, his insights on things and hearing what he got to tell us as a receiver, you know, I just take it all in as well as coach Ford. you know, they got some years above me. So I'm going to take in all the knowledge I can. And, you know, having coach Buck from a defensive standpoint, you know, that's, it's amazing. He, he gives like, you know, tips of anything. So, I mean, everything he talks about is always, you know, you know, great to hear. Yeah. And that's awesome. And, and that's one of the things that a lot of people don't understand about being a wide receiver is that, sometimes things you don't get as many touches as you hope to. And sometimes you get more than you thought. What are your thoughts process about getting touches and, and being a wide receiver that sometimes it goes your way. Sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm going to do my best to get open and stay open for my quarterback and have him, you know, have different spots to be able to throw me the ball. So, I mean, I'm not too worried about getting open, but you know, as long as the ball <laughs> thrown, we're going to make some plays. Yeah, and we just had the Super Bowl that just came on. What did you learn from the Super Bowl, maybe for yourself as a game, from your game, that say, you know what, that would be a good thing for me to learn for myself that will help me? Um, You know, I can say a lot of things. You know, that's a big stage. And, you know, just keeping composure, as I've seen Jay Hurts having throughout the whole game, you know, just going out there and excelling what they do. But, you know, I'll just say keeping composure in big moments. Yeah, that is right. I mean, that's one thing that a lot of wide receivers sometimes or players in general that they miss is that football is a mental game too. Talk about that aspect that you got to be controlled aggression. Yeah, most of is a mental game, you know, outside of the playbook, you know, it's it's knowing the defense or just knowing ball, period. So, I mean, <clears throat> all of it just comes together at the end of the day, but the mental side is tough. For some people, you know, it might be easy for other people, but once you get over the hump of, you know, knowing what to do and not panicking, you know, things will go a lot smoother for you. But I say just keeping your mental right will always have me ahead of the game when I'm on the field. Yeah, that's absolutely right. I mean, that's that's awesome advice there. And, you know, one of the things that about the XFL that a lot of people don't realize is that you get great coaching from, you mentioned from Coach Ford, Coach Coach Buckley, talk about the coaching that you've been getting so far, about how good it's been, the quality. Oh, yeah. The coaching is great. You know, we got yeah. guys from Super Bowl champs to, you know, we got some Ws. You know, I mean, coaches that, that win, that's what I meant to say. But, I mean, you know, we got – it's just a lot to say. I mean, Coach Ford in his years, you know, I'm not going to say his age or nothing, but he, <laughs> up there, he has some knowledge for us. And, you know, every day – Every second of the hour, we're around him. We always learning, and you know, as well as Coach Thomas, he played the position before, and having him in our room and talking with him, you know, daily is you know, is great to know and it's great to hear it all. And one team I got a chance to go ahead and and, and interview was Eli Rogers. What have you learned from him so far? You know, being on the other side of the field. Most definitely, um, you know, just being a pro. 
you know, obviously he's he's older. He got he got some years above me as well. But you know, I'm just saying that to say that if I learn it earlier than later, you know, it's better. But you know, just seeing how he go about in practice, what he do off the field, you know, I take it all in and I just study him, you know, on and off the field. But that's my boy for Shirley. Yo, that's awesome. And and what player, you know, wide receiver or a player, if it's not a wide receiver, that you look up to and say, you know what, that's somebody I really want to aspire to be like once once I'm there. I mean, you know, I don't look up to too many guys. You know, I'm I'm pretty <laughs> straightforward. I try to set the tone for everything I do and be greater. But you know, my guy, um, CMC, Christian McCaffrey, he's a oh. great guy. He's a he's a great football player, and you know, just being in camp with him. Watch him in practice, you know, it's it's amazing to see. And yeah, that's that's a guy to look, you know, keep an eye on. Yeah. So. He's a true professional too. Yeah, most dev, he's professional. So I mean, that's a great guy to, you know, look after or whatever. Well, yeah, you're setting up the bar high, but definitely we wish you a lot of best wishes there for the this coming up this Saturday and also for the whole season for the Orlando Guardians. And we're going to make sure we follow you and keep in touch with you. Yes, sir. Sounds good. You know, I appreciate you. Thank you so much, okay. Tyson Rambo. Appreciate you as well. No, thank you. God bless. Thank you, guys. Thank appreciate you, it. Sir. You are. God bless. God bless. Charleston, see you Friday. Already. See ya. Take care.